Hello guys, hope you're doing well and as always, if you are new to my channel, I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to see all the latest engineering videos that I will uh, put on my channel for you guys. Thanks. Okay, so this is uh, in this video, uh, this is basically a continuation of Mohor strain circle part 3. Okay. So the numerical that we have done in part two was this one. This was a numerical that we have done in part two. And if you look at it, uh, they say that I have epsilon X as minus 300 micro, epsilon Y is minus 100 micro, and gamma X, Y is 100 micro, uh, and theta rotation is 20 degrees clockwise. Okay. So if you look at it, let's uh, start this and see uh, how to simulate this problem. Uh, so this is my more strain circle. And this is that uh, the value is 300 uh, micro, which means it, it's a contraction, minus 300 contraction. And the uh, Y value is again 100, but uh, minus means contraction. And the gamma value is uh, 100 micro, okay? So it's, it's a plus 100 micro, which means it's counterclockwise, okay? And the units, uh, since it's unitless, so it's micro, so okay? So here it is, and uh, we have to uh, compute it. Uh, it's uh, minus 300 micro uh, on the x direction, epsilon x, epsilon y is minus 100 micro and gamma x y uh, is given as clockwise uh, 100 uh, micro. Okay, so let's see how does it does it. So these are the values that he has calculated. It. Okay, and you can see the radius calculated is basically 111.8 micro and the center of the circle is minus 200 micro okay uh, so since this was minus 300 minus 100 minus 400 by 2 divided by 2 is minus 200 okay so this is it has been calculated then he says that they have to rotate this element by an angle of 20 degrees so in the uh, so element rotation will be 20 degrees but it is clockwise so we put it a minus sign okay once this has been done now we will be asking them to compute it for us okay so once when he does they compute it for us uh, we get this way okay so you can see uh, the rotation it was 20 this was our uh, pivot point okay uh, this was actually our this point this this point this is the this point okay so now this has been done it's been rotated at 40 degrees okay so now this is the uh, our new point after rotation okay and then you can see we have can calculate all these things, but our main target is basically to calculate the the principal, uh, basically your absolute maximum shear strain and your uh, maximum shear strain. Okay, your maximum shear strains to be calculated. So if you look at it, uh, they have basically calculated the <coughs> the maximum shear strain for us uh, for this system. Okay, so th this is the your gamma x y max calculated as 2 to 3.61 uh, macros okay okay and uh, this is the radius remember this is the radius which is acting everywhere okay so this is uh, being calculated now we want to see how the uh, orientations are being done okay so again here it is being done for us once it is being oriented you can see that uh, this is your theta p1 theta p1 principal strain orientation this is your theta s Okay, theta S2, they are saying maximum in plane shear orientation. Okay, so how have they calculated this angle? Okay, and you can see uh, before that, uh, since uh, they have also calculated these values of N and T, which is, this is can be, uh, you can say this can be our uh, epsilon, uh, you can see epsilon X dash, and this will be our epsilon Y dash. Okay, and you can see uh, they are at 90 degrees apart. So this N is epsilon X dash is 308.74 micros. This value, if you look, it is just before epsilon P2, okay? And uh, the other value is basically this one, the T value. It is 91.26 micro, okay? This is 91.26 micro negative. And remember, our origin is somewhere here, as this is was our origin. Remember, this is the origin, okay? So this has been done and we have calculated and you are basically uh, gamma x dash y dash uh, by 2 is being calculated as 51.95 micros okay from the 
uh, n axis okay basically from the n axis they have calculated it as 51.95 uh, macros okay so this is the value what is being uh, calculated so once uh, this is being done now basically if we come to how have they calculated this value of uh, 76.70 how have this value been calculated okay so this is the what is called your theta p oriented values okay so if you see from here uh, you can see that uh, from here this from this base origin if we go and basically uh, to this point we will get our theta p1 okay you go here it will get your theta p1 okay but you know this angle is how much you have calculated previously you know this angle from the uh, calculations it was uh, how much was this angle it was 26.57 so you can see 180 you minus uh, 26.57 you will be getting as 153.43 you'll be getting 153.43 but you know this is mohor strain circle this is twice but on, on the element it will be 153.43 divided by 2 so this is going to be uh, 76.72 and the other angle that they have given to us is that uh, for the shear strain orientation, you can basically have many ways to calculate it. Uh, and uh, basically, you can do, uh, for example, you know that uh, this angle was 26.57. You're moving clockwise, negative, and you add uh, 90 to it, you will get to this point. Okay, you will get to this point. So minus 26.57 plus 90, uh, it will give you. Uh, a total of 116.57 okay minus 116.57 but uh, on the uh, for theta s uh, you know uh, on the element it will be basically uh, minus 116.57 divided by uh, 2 it will be 116.57 divided by 2 so you will be getting this value what you can see it as 58.28 degrees it will be for maximum plane shear orientation, it will be 58.28 degrees. Okay, and uh, uh, remember that uh, your when ever your normal strains epsilon x, epsilon y, and uh, here you can see your epsilon p1 and epsilon p2, the principal strains. Your principal strains values are uh, basically have the same signs, like minus here and minus here. You can say that very easily. Your uh, since they have the uh, same signs your uh, basically your absolute uh, uh, maximum value can be calculated from this here okay you can see when they have the uh, same signs and both are negative your absolute uh, maximum value will always be your uh, the greater of the principal strain values which is minus 301.88 micros okay so this is uh, uh, your absolute max okay uh, because this is more circle in 3D. If you want it just for your knowledge, it is this maximum value and your gamma xy value basically on the more strain circle, you know, your radius is 1111.8, uh, but in the real uh, scenario, it will always be twice. So 111.8 twice is gamma xy 223.61 micros. Okay. So this is uh, just uh, to calculate and for, to understand about the value of the how to calculate your absolute maximum shear strain and your maximum shear strain when they the principal strains have the same uh orient have the same signs like minus minus here or you have epsilon p1 and epsilon p2 both plus then basically your the higher value of the uh these principal strains will be your absolute maximum shear strain okay and uh, in the other way scenario if you have got uh, different signs uh, the, if you have got different signs, then you will your uh, maximum shear strain and your absolute maximum shear strain will always be uh, coinciding. Okay, like for example, if I say just to make it different, okay, I say this put here, and now I say compute and I detail, and okay, and you can see since they have different signs, the the principal uh, normal strain and uh, epsilon p2 have different signs. Your absolute gamma absolute max and your gamma xy max have the same uh, magnitude okay so this is just for your knowledge uh, of understanding of this concept so thank you very much i'll come up with another video
understand the concept of more strain circle uh, more better thanks and you have a good day